Charterman, Charterman, Brian. Charterman, 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 Brian. Greedy comics, twins are hella sick. Hell whacking it. Take a bad hit. Take a bad hit. Busty over there. Hey, what's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Mecha Workshop action figure review on the Armor Rodders Cam Custom EFJ AT47 FG Bellerophon. This is actually the very first edition production run. I did review a review sample a while ago, so if you're trying to pick one of these up, you can finally do so. Big, 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 big. Get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com. Click the link in the description below. Now we get some great looking packaging. I love this artwork it just looks absolutely stunning I love this matte finish over here and then you get this gloss finish right there for the mech at the bottom you can see in the gold foil it says first edition exclusive contents first production run on the side we get this silver foil right there on the side we get some images of Bellerophon then on the back over here there's all kinds of stuff to read up on the figures themselves along with the characters and all that so if you want to read that go ahead and pause it now it also shows all the contents that are inside and then on this side right over here you can see another foil image of Bellerophon then on the top it just says Arm Rodders Cam Custom on the bottom. You can see all the people responsible for creating this wonderful piece. And then you can actually lift this cover off and plop right there. And you can see Bellerophon inside, nicely packaged with all kinds of plastic wrap around them and bubble wrap in there. And there's all kinds of cool names for all the weapons so you can check out all the names and all that stuff right there. I love to have all these details worked out, really cool. Then on the back you get this nice art piece right here from Don Figueroa, looking very, very beautiful. I really like that a lot and then you can actually flip this up over here and then you get this awesome splash page of the armor Rodders, and that is just super cool man i love that that is so beast anyway let's see how this looks compared to the review sample and crack this thing open and here's bellerophon out of the packaging once again an amazing figure i'm not going to go over all the articulation and not going to get into all the details because i've reviewed this figure once already and there's not too many differences between this guy right here and the test sample especially with the paint and the deco it's very very similar very very few differences at all if any I don't really actually see any differences in the deco but there are some things that they did change as far as changing things up and getting things going the way they wanted to so uh, first off the accessories that you get or some of the things that we get here that we did not get with the test sample is we get this diorama right here painted by Don Figueroa uh, looking really really nice I really like this docking station setup that we get over here this looks really really cool I like that a lot. It has three folds right over here, so you get the folds right here on the side, and then you get that fold right there at the bottom, and there's nothing on the back. So I think this is a great touch, so you can have them set up right here. I like that a lot. We also get this very well-written instruction manual over here, which goes into all the details on how to assemble everything, and there's a couple of things that I had done wrong with the test sample, which I'll show off in a minute. We also get the comic book, which I've already bagged and boarded, because it came in such minty condition, and it's issue number one. Got a bag and board it. It doesn't come with the bag and board, but the comic book is there. Great artwork. And then looking right here, we get the motion comic, which comes on a DVD, which I think is great. And uh, John 3.0, aka Honest Trailer Voice Guy, uh, he did the voice for Cam's father in this one. So yeah, John 3.0, awesome work over here. And looking at the docking station over here, which I still like very much, plastic quality is equally as good as it was on the test version, and the deco and everything is all the same on this. But a couple of little differences is first off on mine, uh, in my review, I had actually put these wrong. Uh, the ladder is supposed to be on the outside instead of facing the inside. I do find that shifting these up and down over here is a little bit more strenuous than I remember it being on the test one. So that's just a little unfortunate, but it doesn't bother me so much because you can still detach right over here and then just move these out of the way. They did fix this joint right here. This used to come off very easily on the other version, but now you could plug this in and it doesn't nearly pop off nearly as much. And you could just plug that right in there and it's culito and it does not come apart nearly as much as the other version did. So that's very cool. I like that a lot. You can see it holds them up very well. There's a lot of die cast in this figure, so there's a lot of weight to them, and I think that works out great. One thing I had mentioned before was with this clear stand for the pilot that it would come apart very easily. It still comes apart a little bit easier than I'd like it to, but I do notice that we do have a little bit more of a secure connection with these joints. So even though I think it could have been done a little bit better with some screws in here or something, it still holds up pretty nicely. As you can see, when we get a little closer look at this, I just love this color once again. It's this off gray, purplish kind of color to it. Now what I had done incorrectly was when I had switched out the 
the helmet is you can take this off right here, just lift that up, and you're also supposed to remove this little piece right over here. And I had not done that before when I put in the clear, uh, the clear helmet on there. So you can just put that on there, and it's supposed to look like that without having that white rim right there. And these shoulder cannon pieces again are very cool. Uh, one thing that you're supposed to do that you couldn't do earlier was remove them right here at the barrel. So now you can do that as they're intended to do. So that's cool to see. Now one of the great things about this figure is that it has ports all over the place, and it has all these customizations that you can make to it which are really really great and one thing that you couldn't do earlier was the bicep port was not working and as you can see as I put one of these blade pieces in here you can plug into that bicep port now which you couldn't do before now one thing I didn't realize about this figure that you could do which I think is really neat is it you can show well I didn't know that you could put the pilot right in there and that is awesome how he fits in there and he's not totally pushed in all the way but I like that you can still get everything to close and work well but what I didn't realize beforehand is that there's actual weapons storage for his two guns back here so you can put his weapons in the back and you can put the figure in there and you just have to make sure that you don't have anything in the way make sure he's tucked in there back far enough come on now I yeah, just need a little bit of grace and then you can close that up and put that right back in and then going back to these blades over here they still connect properly and everything and all of these came out looking very clean uh, on the test sample I had one or two of them that were a little bit bent but these all came out looking very sharp and pristine and that's one thing that you need to be warned about still they are pretty sharp now I'm not sure if I had mentioned this in the other review I don't think I did but you can actually store these guys right over here on his hips and that looks pretty good. You could actually take these off. It's actually supposed to be done with the blades off. And then when he's holding it, you know, the blades come out. But I think that's cool that you could store them here. Now, for the most part, I think the articulation was improved upon on this figure. I had complained before about the legs feeling very loose and the ankle joint being a little bit loose. But this is a lot better. And I did mention before that the knee pads would pop off easily. I don't have that problem anymore. The knee pads aren't popping off on me. Now, one thing, though, that is unfortunate is that this left shoulder is loose on mine. So... You may want to look out for that or be careful with that. It may just be this particular figure, but the right shoulder right here is just holding up fine. But yeah, this one is a bit loose. Now to measure this guy once again, Bellerophon standing to the top of his head at about nine and a half inches tall, to the top of those shoulder cans about ten and a half. And then here's our retail Bellerophon next to the test sample that was sent to me months ago. And then you can see that they're practically the same thing. I mean, the lighting on these is just a little bit different. I mean, if anything, I guess this guy might be a little bit darker in paint, but I mean, really, they look exactly the same to me. And if I just move this light around, they look the same. So, I don't know. What do you think? And for my patrons that contribute $20 or more, I will be giving this guy away. You will automatically be entered into a lottery to win this figure over here. And then here's Bella Rafon next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Ooh, green blades. Yoink! That's my favorite color. So, uh, how do you work this thing? Uh, hmm, uh. Ah! <laughs> I've had worse. So again, I think this is a great figure. So much love put into this thing. It's just incredible. If you've not seen my review of the test sample that they had sent me, please check that out. You can see the all the articulation, all the details, and all the combinations of display and everything. This guy has 90 points of articulation, including all the weapons and everything. So it's pretty incredible. And I think the dollar value is very affordable for what you're getting here. A lot of cool stuff. And I hope you guys liked my review. If you did, please hit the like button. Click any of these boxes over here. If you want more shark in your face, if you're 18 years or older and you want to be a patron, please check out the Patreon account. Also, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and go to shardomusprime.net for a photo gallery of images from this review. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Action figure review on the Marvel...